Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Archer with Imran. I'm Imran and today we're going to do a tutorial on Digimaps. So let's get into it. So guys, first, here we are in Digimaps. Now this is the home screen. One thing you have to know is Digimaps is not free, but it's provided by my university and I know it's provided by a number of others. Okay, this video is gonna split into three parts. First, we're gonna talk about different map styles. Next, we're gonna talk about um, map content. And third, we're gonna talk about how you print to scale. So let's get into it. I'll try leave timestamps in the description. So first thing, we're going to go to Ordnance Survey and we're going to click on Rome. I'm going to just search in the search bar Portsmouth. And here we have the map of Portsmouth. Now first, I'm going to just zoom in. I'll just zoom in up here. And now you can see my view is probably different to yours. Now, the way to change this, if we click this base maps, you get a number of different styles. Now, as you guys know, my favorite is Open Map Local because it's great for editing in Photoshop, but you can choose a number of others, as you can see. So if we zoom in further, you get different options and different design styles. Now, for example, when you zoom the most in, you can only get these two. These will change as you zoom in and out. So here we are in the most recent area where I had one of my projects. Now I used Open Map Local, but I removed a number of design elements from it before taking it into Photoshop. So once you've chosen your design style, we're going to next click on this map content in the left bar. Now it will show you a number of different elements and you can click the drop downs to get an even further choice. So what this is, is here you can individually turn off every single element of the map. So for example, if you want to turn off water features, the water should disappear from your map. Now, anywhere that doesn't, doesn't have a solid color will be transparent. You can see this in my most recent site analysis and I'll leave it in the card. You can also turn off stuff like woodland and foreshore, as well as specific roads, railway tracks, settlements and um, height information. So one thing I would recommend that I like to do um, I like to take composites. So for example, um, you could turn off everything apart from your main roads and export that as an image. You can then you, you can then do the exact same thing for settlement. And then in Photoshop, you can overlay them. It will look the exact same as if you were to export it all as one, but it means that it's much easier to individually select and edit it. Now, once you've chosen the certain elements you want in your design, we're gonna, we're gonna look at printing. So I'll just put it all back together, but we're now going to go to printing. So first you want to click this print icon just here next to the search bar, and then you can choose a title. Okay, now next thing we're going to do is print scale. As you guys saw, when we were choosing our design style, did certain designs only span through certain scales? So you want to pick a scale within, within the margin of your design. Now, you can also choose between PDF, PNG, or JPEG. I personally recommend PDF because it's the most easily editable. Next, we're also gonna look at page size. Now, one thing I recommended in my initial site analysis video, if you want to do a full A3 page of site analysis, I would recommend choosing A2. Now, don't rescale anything, but this will ensure that your design goes to all edges of the page. If you do an A3 um, print, there will be borders, which we'll see in a minute. Now you can choose to include your name, national grid and legends. And if we go on to layout preview, we'll get an idea of the exact area we'll see within this map. And this will change based on our scale. There you go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go generate print file and it will just simply download a file. Now, if we open up this downloaded file, you can see the exact area and you can see the border I was talking about. Now, if this is printed on an A3, this will fit perfectly and it will all be to scale. But if you want it to fill the whole page, as I've said, make it A2 and then just drag it onto an A3 Photoshop without resizing it and it should still be to scale. Now, one last thing to note, because you are a this is a student account, you're gonna have this faint Digimaps text. Now, unfortunately, you can't really remove this. It's really hard to get rid of, even in Illustrator. But 
you can always contact your lecturer and I'm sure they'd be willing to do one for you and it won't have the watermark on. Now, anyway, that is all we have time for today. Hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. This was actually a request. So if you have any more, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a nice day. See you in another one.